All right, good afternoon. Uh, this right here is uh, showcasing my third project at Triple Ten. Uh, this right here is uh, basically showcasing a web page uh, following responsive web page design as demonstrated here on this link that has been posted on public GitHub. Uh, to begin, we I started with an index.html file. I followed uh, the proper uh, BEM requirements and separated each uh, BEM block uh, by its respective block. Uh, we have our page, header, profile, cards, footer, and include our fonts, all of which are linked and imported into the index cascading style sheets. Now, here on the HTML, uh, we basically try to follow all the um, requirements with the header. Same thing with the body, including uh, the body that was divided into divisions by the page contents, by the page header, by the page's uh, main profile and avatar, including uh, the sections that include the individual cards with the name and information in the like button, all of which are properly uh, linked all the way to the footer at the very end. All of which were uh, uploaded via the git command, uh, the terminal, and up into GitHub. Here, uh, it's been made public and available uh, with all the updates shown. And here are the individual, uh, individual elements demonstrated. Now, in order to do this, we I had to basically uh, follow the grid format, and that included proper spacing uh, between the header, the header logo, the header page section, with the proper margins around it, including uh, the margins ar and padding around the profile, profile avatar, profile name, profile description, and the profile editor button, as well as the profile add button, which do hover and emanate an effect uh, as you scroll over to each button. Okay, they're having the hover effect. Additionally, uh, we see that I've uh, also included the individual cards into a list format on the H index HTML file, and they've been reordered and reformatted through the grid template columns and rows, each of them having their individual sections, including the card's title, spacing, and uh, space for the card likes button, all of which follow the uh, format and on the row above, including the uh, called um, the clipped text with the proper ellipse. Now, in order to do this and make this, again, uh, uh, responsive to multiple devices, or in this case, uh, very common uh, phone width at 480 pixels, uh, we included um, a media query for the profile down here. Okay, if the screen is basically uh, at max width uh, 480 pixels, the profile the individual cards and the page itself will adjust to fit the width of a cell phone that may be 480 pixels. Uh, all of the elements have been uh, reoriented to fit inside this device width. Okay. Now, in order to make sure that all of these were properly linked, um, I know that these had to follow a certain um, format. The following formats uh, to make sure they were all linked. Uh, well, first of all, we had to I had to make sure that I followed all the proper formatting, uh, including the syntax. For example, things that were included in the profile followed the naming sequence for the profile. If it was the profile image profile underscore underscore image if it was a profile uh, name 
it was profile underscore name. If it was the profile edit button, profile underscore edit dash button, and same thing for a description and the add button. As we can see here, uh, added individual elements. So that way, once I am focused on that section of the profile, it's very easy to identify what block in the cascading style sheet belongs to what block. So it was all evident right here. Okay. Additionally, uh, I want to make sure that um, here we have the different resolutions already displayed. And I can switch between different resolutions among uh, very common uh, device types, and they will all uh, fit response, uh, responsively within the page in an appropriate manner that it seems to be uh, adequate for each device without the uh, scroll bar at the bottom. So I can move it at different widths, and it's not going to have the horizontal scroll bar. Okay, and then going back to a large laptop uh, screen type. Okay, uh, I know that as when the code does uh, adapt to a device that's much smaller, again, here uh, we notice that, okay, the media screen, basically the, the whole page section is set to uh, this type of resolution so that way everything fits in consistently, including uh, the profile. So that way they're not taking up too much space and don't block each other out. Additionally, um, you have uh, the cards that are uh, made to also provide space uh, between the profile, the profile buttons, and the rest of the contents in the card section. So that way they're not uh, on top of each other when uh, the device type does change or when it's, the web page is viewed on a different device. Now again, uh, if I wanted to make sure that all of these were properly uh, linked, uh, all of these pages uh, accounts in the cascading style sheet account for different uh, areas, including the fonts, which uh, yeah, including the fonts, um, which apply to each individual section in the HTML file. In order to do that, they had to be properly linked once again in the main index cascading style sheet. Once they were imported to the main index cascading style sheet, they were then uh, linked into the, H the index HTML uh, with the proper uh, type, with the proper uh, heading format. Additionally, uh, we tried to make sure, or I tried to make sure that the fonts uh, were appropriate. So they were imported, downloaded into the uh, fonts folder. They were linked properly. And when they were, whenever these uh, fonts were used, uh, they were uh, imported correctly for each where, wherever the fonts were uh, used. Some of the challenges that I've encountered were uh, how to make sure that these uh, cards were actually uh, formatted in the right way so that way they weren't uh, all over the place in proper uh, formatting. Uh, so uh, it took a minute but uh, we Basically, I resorted to using the list formats and using it uh, in a grid uh, template with, through columns. In addition, to make sure that these were appropriately spaced, as you see in purple, uh, this had to be um, coded with a, the proper uh, grid gap. So that way, not only are they properly spaced, but also when they encounter different device widths, they can adapt appropriately without splicing into one another even if it ends up being uh, viewed through a smaller device. So that's thank you to uh, the grid template columns, uh, the grid area, as we see here, and in addition, the uh, grid gap between columns and rows. So that way, uh, as you see here in the cards, you can see the grid gap. You'll notice that the grid columns are here and uh, the grid gap accounts for the space that uh, gives uniformity across this whole section. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is what I have for uh, my code for HTML and 
uh, cascading style sheets uh, to make this web page possible. Again, it is all provided publicly on GitHub with the README indicating the link to the public uh, page on GitHub. Thank you.